fabulous, fabulous shot. One two pocket filled up and rips the five into the ten. You guys are out of here in a messenger pen, but nothing left. Ron Bonner, the extremely cupped release and just straps the ball, turns it up, twists it and trusts it, sending it out to the channel and letting it hook back. Fabulous. Look at this release from the low angle, folks. Cupped release, watch it here, way around the side of the ball and just rotates around the side, lifts through the ball and just, just absolutely trashes the pocket out. Michael not getting the benefit of the messenger pin leaving the six, going just a hair high again. And Ron Bonnet has really, really been throwing the ball well as you look at him there on the bench. He's been, uh, oh, I don't know, he's several 300 games and won just as uh, late as last week. And Michael creating a very, very bad shot going across lane and missing the six pin, opening the door up for Ron Bonnert and with a hot hand, you don't want to open this early. Hours after the ceremony when Ron got married, uh, the newlyweds arrived at Northwest Lane where Bonnert presented Angela with a special gift, a 300 game. And that, of course, was in the city tournament. Okay, let's see. If, let's look at his foot in here. Watch it just goes into the shot and just a little bit not quite the firm shot he wants but he's really getting it all into the ball when you do that you're going to lose your footing just a little bit once in a while gets, by the way those right. words ahead. about ron bonnet were compliments of joe minster of the journal news up in hamilton joe we appreciate all the writing you've done about bowling and um, we're glad that you recognize that bowling deserves well we mentioned it before uh, statistician here in the booth with us, Tim McGill, doing the numbers. And uh, my lovely wife, Sandy, in the truck doing the scoreboard along with Marilyn. And the uh, the man that orchestrates the whole show, Roy Alfers. Roy Alfers has been our director for this season. And we're so glad to have a great crew working with us, Jennifer. You betcha, they are fabulous. I don't know if they're as fabulous as this last shot, but uh, they're pretty good people. This shot is a fabulous shot. Goes around the ball. Just really twerks it up. I'm surprised his wrist holds together. Head pin goes to the wall, comes off, kicks into the six, six into the nine, and the ten. Michael says, hold, and it does. Thank you very much, he says. Minus 32 pins, and what's Mike do? He answers with a great shot out around the six board, just lets it roll back. Look at those revolutions on the ball. There's the whirly bird into the six and the 10. Uh, I can't count as high as he's amping that ball up, Jennifer. Nor can I. 32 pins. Hook, Mike. Hook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Hook, hook. It's no problem, Mike. It hooked. Mike ran it all the way down to lane one. He, he wants it. Let's listen. Mike Whalen. Hook, hook! Oh, uh, he brought it back well, and Mike Whalen is really, really pumped up. He's not going to let Bonner get away with an easy match here. No way. When it comes to a veteran like Mike Whalen, they want to show these kids how, you, how it's done. Hurry ball, he says. Oh, wow. Leaves a light shaking 310, and it's so much off spot that the machine does not pick it up. Take a look. Take a look at it here. Ron lets the ball wide. Now he's he's gonna say, "Come on, hook, hook, get it back." No, and it's not gonna fall. Ron leaving the 310, and he's gonna have to shoot across lane for this particular spare. Not that difficult a spare. Head pin's gonna go to the wall. There you see it going to the right hand wall, coming over and trying to topple. The pin out and actually moves the three about six inches back, Jen, well out of the reach of the scissors. Almost to the three pin position. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean to tell you, it's it's back there, so this is not going to be as now easy. Now, is he going to go outside? Yes, yes. Yeah. Excellent Great. choice. Great. Excellent choice. Seeing that the pin was off spot, not going for it in the typical way, going to throw it as a combination slide that what was a three pin now almost in the five pin position over into. D10. Now, Ron, what do you think? Good shot? Come on, he's saying, yeah. And with Ron's good speed, as we've said before, I don't believe he could have fit that up. 
Oh, the messenger pin again, really working for the guys that work the ball, Jennifer. Messenger pin, look at this head pin, center of your screen, go to the right hand wall, put them right there. Now come across, messenger, and just in case the fourth pin was thinking about sticking around. No, not, not good, Michael. Mike is repeatedly going to that side. It's probably caused by the fact that he's getting to the line ahead of the ball. And uh, we'll be able to watch his arm swing on this shot. It's going to be coming up short. Let's watch it here. Not reaching out, but coming straight up and right by his forehead rather than reaching out onto the lane and then coming up. And uh, again, I believe that that's, he's just a little off in his approach. Ron Bonner can smell a victory here, and boy, oh boy, did he throw a great shot. Really trusted the ball. Getting great pin action, too, as of course he's used to. Bonner right hand lane, trusts it, and uses that powerful ball to scatter the pins. Head pin center the screen, going to the wall, and then just coming off. Plus 32 pins with three frames to go. He's got to hold on, but Mike Whalen really doesn't seem to be comfortable with the condition and with his game right now in order to make that up. But uh, he's not out of here yet. Almost a lousy break that ended up to be, uh, as a result, only a four pin. Mr. Mike McDonald looking on with his son Jason. Of course, he's the BPA president doing a fine job, and that organization is just taking bowling further and further every year. Mike Whalen knows what he wants to do as he gazes up at the score sheet. He can tell that uh, at this particular point, 32 pins, not insurmountable, but needs to be worked on, and w X's are the only way, and that is the way to throw X's. 20 miles an hour, and he gets his footwork together here. One, two, three, four, five, and the slide is still moving as he's coming through the ball. Fabulous shot, Mike. 20 is the number. 20 is what you have. Now, if he can maintain that level of concentration, consistency, staying down, and getting the ball out in the lane, that's all he's got to do, Jen. That's all. <laughs> Sounds easy, right? And, boy, and he makes it look that way. Looking up at the sheet, knowing that the ninth frame, the important building frame in bowling, it is actually absolutely a great shot. His release is what is going to bring him to the winner's circle if he's going to get there. There he maxes out, stays low, and runs it out to the left. Mike, he liked it. But you've got to have some help from your opponent, Ron Bonner, right-hand lane. If he strikes here, and the first ball in the tenth will run away and hide. There's number one. is absolutely maxed out ninth frame the building frame 197 in the eighth his potential if he strikes out would be 257 mike's potential if he takes it all the way to the wall 236 ron bonner 20 pins in the 10th frame will bring him a victory out there Not quite right. Spinning that ball a little bit off his hand, Janet, mm -hmm. as it appeared to be to me. Let's take a look at it here if we can. Ball not gripping the way it should on the back end. Watch it deflect to the left there. You see it taking the two pin straight back, four pin into the channel, and just not getting the right angle on the 10. Cross lane, he should be using a little bit more speed to bring this spare back. Cut down on the hook. Not so. Not so. Very surprising. He actually went with a little bit more finesse and less speed. He actually slowed it down to 18 miles an hour, whereas a lot of his spare balls to cut down on the speed, he's been throwing it faster now. Well, this is it. If he strikes, Mike is closed out. Mike can only get to 236 with all three in the 10. Ron needs a strike here to close him out. That's right, Jim. I mean, Ron, rather. <laughs> Got so excited about that, forgot his name. Count is Ron so important. 
Ken's a winner. Nine, Mike has a chance. Don't go away yet. We may have our first tie game of the season. And if we have a tie, it's a ninth and tenth frame roll off, sudden death. Ron could have put the game away with a strike instead. 236. Mike needs three in the tenth to tie. Ron Bonner not really wanting to watch this shot, and I can guarantee you Mike is going to leave nothing on the table. Got it out there. Oh, oh no, my. no. Solid, solid seven on what was one of his better shots of the match, Jen. Absolutely. A handshake. What a great sportsman. Mike Whalen going down in defeat to Ron Bonnard on this particular thing. And it, I tell you what, he really showed us something to do, Jen. Well, Both players. Absolutely. Ron will get the check and head on over to LaRue Lane where qualifying is going on. Mike Whalen, just not your day today. Ron Bonnert, you are the man of the hour. Throwing the hot hand in town, 236.